So this is a really good example of an appropriate design to screen print. The reason this design is good is you have different amounts of visual weight. You have really heavy parts, you have really light parts. You have various thickness of lines. You know, you see these lines going around here versus these bold lines over here. This is a really nice thick line that follows in through here. So the design is visually interesting. It's not all done in a thin marker. It's not all done in a thick marker. There's lots of different visual weight. So once you have your design, it's time to scan it. The scan program we use is right here. It's called the Cano Scan. So this is the scanner we use most often. It's a Canon. It's, it's very easy to use. A couple buttons on the front here. Once you have your design, into the scanner face down. Make sure it all gets in there. Once that goes, you hit your application right here. Once you have this dialog box, you want to hit scan to. Let's give it a name. We'll call it screen printing dinosaur. I think it's high school dinosaur. Okay, the important part is you want to make sure that the source is on Playton, the scan mode can be in grayscale, that's fine. The image, this is the very important part. Image quality has to be at least 300 dpi. You don't want to go anything lower because that'll make your design look really pixely. If you want to, you can go up to maybe 600 dpi if you have a really fine image, but most of the time 300 dpi is fine. Paper size is letter, that's fine. JPEG is what we want to, is, is what we want to save it as, and you can select where you'd like to save it. If you are a student at the neutral zone, most likely you can use your folder on, in the student work folder. Every computer should have a student work folder. So you would click on this and if you're a new student you can make a new folder. If not, you can save it in one of you can save it in your folder. I'm gonna use Mario's folder for now. So choose this. Once we have everything set up, 300 dpi, our name, our destination, we can hit scan. Once it's scanned in, we can go into our folder and retrieve it. Once we have our file, we can start manipulating it in Photoshop and Illustrator, and in the next video we'll show you how to do that.